Yeah. Another story I remember that you told, and their stories were great. And before I had ever seen your stand up, and I, if you don't want to tell this, you don't have to tell it. And if we tell it and you want to cut it, I'll cut it. But um, you were getting some heat at the beginning of that show. And um, you, people were calling you from all over. And there was a, um, a benefit to raise money. Oh, yeah. Can I tell this story? Yeah. Okay. Kirk Douglas. <sighs> Kirk Douglas is, for those that don't know, an artist. Young- bro. Yeah. Spartacus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Spartacus. Yeah. It, Michael Douglas's father. Well, wait, wait. So, but you didn't know that then. Know you didn't know that then. No, I didn't know anything you about it. You didn't know name. anything about it. So, the it was the uh, PR uh, union's uh, uh, benefit yeah. uh, celebrating Kirk Douglas at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Mm-hmm. This was, you know, um, a few years ago, about eight, eight, nine years ago. And if you know anything about Kirk Douglas besides playing Spartacus and being an Academy Award winning actor and the father of Michael Douglas, he. He suffered uh, 20 years stroke. before from a stroke, a horrible stroke, which kind of- But they re- don't tell you that. <laughs> they don't have they don't, they don't, no warning on that. Well, and he couldn't speak. He lost his, his ability to uh, speak clearly. Which and- they also don't tell you. It's not even on the card. It's the whole function. And there's right. like- Anyway. So he gets on his answering machine, Theo Vaughn, somebody saw you on TV and somebody saw you on another show and they said, you'd be perfect for it. You're really funny. You're witty. We would love for you to come to the Beverly Hills Hotel- and host uh, the uh, Kirk Douglas benefit. Yeah. And uh, Theo doesn't, you know, he's busy. Um, he says yes. Well, he did say yes, but I don't think he heard the word host. Mm-mm. He heard roast. <laughs> yeah. He heard roast. <laughs> I, and this was serious. And when, when this was happening, I was with him. He was legitimately upset. He goes to the hotel. And who are some of the people that are there in the audience? And oh, dang. Uh, you said Sally Field? Was Sally Field? Sally Field was there. And I didn't know if it was Sally Field or Fields. And <laughs> well, you didn't know Kirk Douglas had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they, here's the thing. They just, uh, you know, you think Publicist Guild, they fucking give you some intel, Something. right? So I had nothing, bro. They sent me out there and I thought it was a roast. So we wrote all these roast jokes. Me and my friend Matt Weiss wrote the roast jokes about Kirk Douglas. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> the man is like 95 years old. He can't speak. Didn't you call attention to that in the roast? How good an actor is he? He can't even, everything's a vowel. <laughs> Didn't you say that? He doesn't have one fucking consonant. And then you get up to do the roast. Listen to this guy. <laughs> and what happened in the middle? He said, oh, he said, uh, what did we say, man? We said, we said, oh, I, his publicist's job must be easy. Um, he's still alive. That's just her announcement every year. <laughs> we ripped him. He was 90-something years old, yeah, know. you know? And so I thought it was a roast for how for uh, how old he was. Whatever his name was, Harold Douglas. So I get there, dude. And I'd been out the night before, bro. I wasn't even really doing that great. And so I get over there, wrote all these jokes. The craziest part was one joke. There's one guy that laughs, right? The lights are off in there, right? right? One guy that laughs. And it's a black guy laughing, right? I grew up in a black neighborhood. I know a black guy laugh from a white guy laugh, unless it's Lester Holt. That's but there was saying. a guy in the room that, that was, was laughing black. that you were sure was black. And it was not right. so Lester a, Holt. One laugh goes, it's one laugh, bro. There's a thousand people in there. Right. So mm-hmm. when I finally get a laugh, <laughs> and, you know, I key in on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And I I'm said, killing. And I think the joke had maybe been had a little race, some racial undertone. So the one guy laughs is black. And I'm like, at least the brother laughed for me, right? I said that, right? <laughs> so for some reason, they bring the lights up as if we need to see if it's a black guy. Oh my God. <laughs> the only thing that went right in the whole production <laughs> is that at some point when I mentioned that that's a black guy laughing, they bring the fucking lights up. <laughs> And? and and it was Lester hey. Holt. It was Lester Holt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one black guy they invited to the thing found enjoyed it. But didn't but didn't they come up and stop you? Oh yeah, they shut me down. <laughs> didn't Sally Fields come up and stop you? And say, no, what Sally the Field was good. Who? Oh, I remember. This was the craziest part. So it kept going bad, you know. And nobody was telling me nothing, man, you know? And you're roasting Kirk Douglas. Oh, I'm roasting everybody. They had a couple, oh, this is the worst part. They had a couple children from like Siam or something that came in with some documentary. <laughs> and I roasted those bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know what was going on. <laughs> 
but it was no rehearsal. I didn't even know what the fuck this thing was, Some dude. Orphan children. <laughs> yeah. He's rusty. There's no thing, man, and everybody's eating out there eating salmon, bro. And uh, and the worst part was I went backstage. Robert Downey Jr.'s back there with um the guy. I want to say Corbin Burnson. Is that a man? Yeah, That's yes, a man. it is a man. <laughs> and a white man. <laughs> it is? Yeah. And a white man. So Corbin Burnson and how uh and uh Robert Downey. Robert Downey Jr. are standing backstage. And this is before Iron Man. This is when he had just, I think, messed with the hookers or something. Okay. Or okay. the men. Whatever happened, I don't know. Who didn't the do men. it? I don't know what it was, man. Oh, when he got high and then he woke up in somebody else's house? Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Okay. <laughs> gay chicken. We've all got different. There's a version of gay chicken. We've all you. We Robert all, Downey Jr. We all remember. tell different elements of the story, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he was at. Oh, uh, he. Oh wait, he was backstage. Oh wait, maybe Iron Man had just. He started doing Iron Man. That's okay. right. All right. Yeah, because I'm thinking years before I'd seen him at a party when I first got to town, and no, and everybody was like, like you know, or people were saying mean stuff about him at the party. Um, but this was at the. Uh, the hotel, Wilshire. the Wilshire Motel. So I'm over the there. Wilshire Motel. <laughs> or wherever it was, the Publishers Guild. Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Beverly. Beverly Wilshire. <laughs> the motel. <laughs> Whatever it was, dude, I don't know. They fucking made me park far off. <laughs> <laughs> so the further I park, the more motel it gets. <laughs> so anyway, I'm backstage. He's back there. Oh, this is what happened. He goes, <clears throat> and they knew it was going bad. They knew it was going bad. I mean, you know it's bad when Iron Man shows up, right? <laughs> <laughs> to stop everything. <laughs> He's saving. <laughs> and he goes, hey, man, in 10 years, nobody will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's crazy because six, five years older, I'd seen him in a, in, 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 at a low point in his career or, you know, at the media's low point in his career. Yeah. And so coming from him, it was like yeah. a nice thing to hear because here he That's was. That's a beautiful compliment. <laughs> <laughs> what year was what- this happened 10 years ago oh, i think it was so, 10 years ago yeah and that's why we're bringing, we're it, up bringing today. it up today memory <laughs> he goes 10 years from now nobody will know that this nobody will know this happened <laughs> oh wait and fuck we just screwed ourselves <laughs> but i think that's a nice compliment when things are going bad and there's somebody back there to just give you like oh him hey, and the man. other guy it was the only two people that do that would even talk to me what about the black guy from the audience that laughed? Yeah, he would, I think. <laughs> but he wanted to get out of there because the lights were up and he was... <laughs> yeah, who knows what he was going on with That's him. I don't worry. know. But it was... That's one of the funniest but... stories. Thank you, Theo. They set me that. up, man. 